Guess what? Why, why do you think that is? <sighs> How's the view up here? Well, I think we stink at passing right now. We get into those little rhythms where we do it very well, but in those certain times where it just kind of breaks down. Well, they're absolutely stuffing the box against us. No question, but why not try something over the top? They're not going to finesse their way around four guys. We experimented with Luke a little bit at midfield, then he put him right back back at defense, which is good. I don't see Thiago out there. I wonder if he's hurt. Uh, he's concussed. Ah. Uh, that would explain it. I don't understand Mike coming out with only eight minutes gone in the first, second half. I mean, somebody probably hear me on the YouTube channel saying it, but I just think Shanley has some problems right now. But, I mean, this is Davies. And it's one nothing. And if Jack Olson could ever figure out that he's supposed to be the front of the defenseman and not behind him, stay on side, he might have a chance, but he's always offside, so thankfully. Well, there's something. Substitution for Eagles, number 15, Hunter Simon. So Mike's back in with. And in for your deacon, number 11, Mike Noah. After about a six minute rest. I mean, before the season, I thought that these games would just be walkovers, and they're making them very, very close. How do you do that when you know they were better? What do you think? Remember, you might be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Evan's been having the greatest view of the game so far. Yeah. It's so much easier to see. It. Yeah. Just like, okay, there's like, okay, why can't we find feet there? Good job, Luke. I mean, he had Mike wide open to pass to, but he tries to beat the guy one-on-one -on, -one on the sideline. I don't have that. Welcome back on to the pitch for your defense. Like number one, Wassi Urgard. And number three, Milo Jack Hager. <laughs> I'd put a guy right here on the sideline. Just wait for the ball. Playing a bad team, why compress the field? Yeah. Oh, 
size it up, find somebody. So that's not finding feet, it's just like kicking it into space and hoping something good happens. They can use their center defensive legs a little bit more for switching. True. Nice look. Ah, that's just that pass just kind of floors me. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give a big shout out and let's give a big round of applause for our ball boys, your U Twelve Avengers. See, is there somebody getting open for a guy that's got the ball, or is he kind of just trapped into making a... See, now that we finally switched the field back there, we got a great opportunity to come out. Yeah. We, just, we keep on trying to go up and forth, up and forth, right you know, between the two hash marks. Exactly. They should be switching a lot more and taking advantage of the whip. Now here, just mark up. Somebody. And that kind of fits the unique as number six, T.J. Anderson. Here we go. Good turnover. Oh yeah, Jack is way too close to the center. He's just drawing people over there. Too many red jerseys in that space. I just. There's a yellow. Very good, Amel. There's the yellow. Substitution on the foul for your Eagles, number nine, Casey Hollis. Melvin should be getting in here way more often. Yeah, I've been looking for him. I think, I don't know if Hunter Malloy quit or not, but they haven't let him play for six games straight or so now. Not on the field, not at goaltender. Well, in this case, I agree with Diane Fritz. Just put it on goal and see what happens.
Good look. Good, Mike. Now I'll just pop it up. Oh my goodness. Definitely a lot of that going on. Get a shot on goal, if nothing else. Start, start threatening. Nice trap. Nice, now that's good. Luke, come on, Luke. Get out up here for a little bit. On the fifth rear, Eagles number six, Richard Rayleigh. Shanley with 14 and 15 seconds to go. Good job, Luke.
Don't risk it, Jacob. Don't jump at it. There you go. Good. Good clear. Yeah, okay, let's get one.